Back with another video for you today. I got Ashley here again. We're doing a couple of videos here while I'm here in Paris and she's here as well. Mm -hmm. You're fin finishing up school? Yeah, I graduate in June, so we're almost done with this of God. Wow. I know. Amazing. It's been crazy. It is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so today we're reviewing a fragrance called Bois Mysterio by Guerlain. And uh, if you're curious to find out about this one, which used to be called Sange de Bois de Thé, then please stay tuned. so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. This is Ashley. Hey. If this is your first time landing on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So you're almost finished with school. Yes. Can we count on you to produce some fragrances very first, soon? First someone has to hire me. <laughs> So how's that going? Um, I've been interviewing with a couple companies, but nothing's definitive yet, so. Mm. Will you be staying here in Paris? Um, I'm really willing to move wherever there's opportunity. Becoming a perfumer is really competitive and you have to be really flexible, and I am. Mm. Mm -hmm. So where could the... The biggest cities for it um, are New York, Paris, Singapore. Singapore? Yeah, Singapore is really big. Wow. And then there's also consumer fragrances, which is a possibility. So that'd be like New Jersey, um, the Netherlands, um, maybe some Germany. How about London? There's really nothing in London. San Francisco? Absolutely nothing in San Francisco. <laughs> Otherwise, okay, so, I would stay home. <laughs> so you're not coming back to SF? No. Wow. I what, know. What's your ideal city then? Hmm. You know, I've lived in Paris and I've lived in New York, and so I think I do really like big cities, but I also haven't given like a suburb or something like that a shot. Um, really, I love creating and formulating so much that I think I'd be happy wherever I was doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I love Paris. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, the past three years here have been amazing. Paris is an amazing city. Oh, oh cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it here. Yeah. Well, glad we got to get together and do some videos. Me too. So this is Bois Mysterio by Guerlain. It's a 2019 launch, or actually a relaunch or repackaging. They've put it in these bottles, and it used to be a bottle that was similar to the La Art et La Matier collection of fragrances that features Tonka Imperial mm -hmm. and Spiritus de Bovigny. So I don't know what they're doing, but I guess they're redoing the bottles. Maybe it fits better in this collection rather than the other. But uh, 2019 release EDP concentration, 125 ml bottle for $200. Mm -hmm. Terry Wasser is the perfumer, and I believe he is the perfumer of the former fragrance as well. And top notes, neroli, laurels, heart notes, cedar, patchouli, jasmine, base notes, leather, and myrrh. And I'm absolutely in love with this fragrance. It is freaking phenomenal. It's a big fragrance. There's a lot of power behind it, but it's still really well structured, really well balanced. Um, and it's not in your face or super aggressive in the way other big fragrances can be. So I really like that about this fragrance. You it's a do. beautiful oud. It is? Beautiful leather oud. Mm. What do you think about the start of this fragrance, the neroli and the laurels? On me, I think it goes really fast. I'm, I mean, right off the gate, what I get is the patchouli, the leather, the oud, the balsams kind of thing. Yeah, what about you? Intense. Yeah. Leather. Yeah, do you get the laurels or neroli? Really? I mean, I think the laurels add this aromatic vibe to mm -hmm. it because it's very aromatic. True. And I get a very cumin kind of a yes. experience. But I picked up these notes from Fragrantica and there's no mention of oud. We do get oud. Yeah. Um, we um, don't, there's no mention of cumin and we get cumin. Mm -hmm. I get cumin. Yes. And it adds this major sexy factor yes. about this fragrance. And I feel like it's sexy, but not skanky, not, for lack of a better word, not like dirty, dirty. Like, you oh know, something no. can get very civety and it's too much and really you smell like a wild animal. I think this keeps <laughs> it very refined while still having a lot of character, while still being a really big fragrance. 
yeah. which is hard to do. Yeah. You know, when you have a powerful fragrance, it's, I think it's really difficult to get the balance where it's still really refined, and I think this fragrance is an amazing job of that. It does. The other thing I've found about this fragrance is it's a great, great layering fragrance. Mm. I'm not a layerer, but I picked up a fragrance called Rose from Molten Brown. I think it's Rose Ooh. Absolute. Mm -hmm. Layer the two together. That oh my god, it this is This would layer so well with the rose. Amazing. I think the aromatic factor in this fragrance mm -hmm. really works so well with that rose. And I feel like it can, maybe it perhaps is missing rose in this mm -hmm. fragrance. Yeah. But it's not really missing yeah. rose. And I would rather be able to kind of layer the rose that I want, because there's so many different roses out there. And sometimes when it's like a rose oud, it's like, the oud is so beautiful, but this isn't the rose I'd want to pair it with. So this is just like a really great wear alone fragrance but great for a base if you want to make your own rose oud or a jasmine oud or whatever oud to your collection yeah definitely mm -hmm. yeah this is actually a very very solid release um this collection i think is pretty um solid yeah um i'm willing to check out more of their fragrances but I'm blown away with the quality of this one. I thought Guerlain was kind of suffering lately, but... I feel, and I feel like it's really underrated among, like, niche circles. Like, you know, other than the classics, which get a lot of... And maybe La Petite Robe Noire, which is, like, a famous designer fragrance. We don't talk about Guerlain so much. And some of their exclusives are really nice, like Spiritus de Blavigny, mm -hmm. Tonkin Imperial, mm -hmm. um, Bois d'Armony I yeah. really love as well. Me too. And I feel like they go under the radar, but maybe I'm just not seeing it as much. Mm. Yeah. Um, are you familiar with any of the other ones in this collection? There's a sandalwood in a black bottle that I quite like as well. Yeah, that one got discontinued. Mm. Oh, wait. The good ones do sometimes. Maybe that one's not the one that... There's one that got discontinued. Mm -hmm. It's the amber, I think, that got... Okay. I have the sandalwood. Yeah, the amber got mm -hmm. discontinued. There's an oud. There's a musk. Now there's also a leather. Mm -hmm. I think this is a pretty solid They collection. do a really good job, yeah. Plus, the, the other thing I like about this is it's, a, it's 125 ml. It's mm -hmm. not your traditional 100. It's $200, so it's okay. kind of a niche style of fragrance. Yeah. So you're getting a little more juice for about the same price as uh, other niche fragrances. And Guerlain always kills it with packaging, in my opinion. They always do a really beautiful job at packaging, and this is no exception. The color is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful. Not the heaviest bottle, but there's a good weight to it. Yeah. And it sprays great too. Mm. It sprays really, really nice. Check I'm this out. I'm sure. What we like about this, or what I like about mm -hmm. it, is it's a massive cloud. Yeah. Massive projection. So if you like your fragrance, it's beastly. Mm. It's, yeah, it is a beast mode fragrance. You like that yes. about it? It's in the air. You're definitely going to have a scent trail. People are going to smell you. It is not a wallflower by any means. No. <laughs> yeah. But. I'm in love with this and I can't stop wearing it and I'll, I'll say it to you this is I bought a lot of fragrances this year this is the best fragrance I have wow. purchased wow. this year okay I have I, I can't say that now I receive a lot of fragrances for reviews mm -hmm. but as far as what I've bought Purchase this yourself is, this is this is it right here I can see it it's I'm in love with it's it. a gorgeous fragrance yeah. it's, definitely it's double bang for your buck because not only is it beast mode you've got the projection the sillage it's great longevity plus it layers so well with rose you have to try it it's a winner yeah <laughs> anyway anything else we should say about this one hmm. I think with ouds, I'm very picky, especially nowadays where there's so many ouds infiltrating the market, and they get so plasticky or harsh, mm. chemical, synthetic. So many of them are doing this now that I've started to associate it just with Western ouds, and this veers completely in the opposite direction where it's, you know, I'm sure it's a synthetic oud, but it still smells so expensive and so well done that it's impressive, and I haven't seen something like that in a long time. Um, my favorite oud is probably Killian's Pure Oud, oh. and this is a close second, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The other thing I want to say before we end the review, uh, Guerlain makes it so complicated with the notes. I was looking on their website for this. They're, they're, I mean, they're not really like coming right out and saying exactly what's in the notes, so... I resorted to Fragrantica, but you know, you also have base notes and Parfumo, and they're all kind of varying on the notes. So in the end, I went with what the notes are listed at Fragrantica. But if you have other notes, let us know. Other than that, guys, are you familiar with 
Bois Mysterio from Guerlain, let us know. Put some comments down below. Please, I hope you get to go check this one out. It's a warm, spicy, oody, balsamic vetiver. Very, very aromatic, and I'm in love with it. So please go check it out, and then come back here and let me know if when you sample it, what you think about it. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Cool.